Hey, Rob Latham at the 2015 NRA Annual Meeting in Nashville. We're at the convention center where all the manufacturers come out and bring all their new products. I've been shooting for about 30 years and I've met a lot of really neat people. And at one of these shows, they all come out. And this is a chance for you to meet them. Hi, I'm at that 2015 NRA show in beautiful Nashville. And I've uh, found one of my best friends ever in the whole shooting world. One of your best friends? One of my best friends in or the your shooting best... world. Okay. In the shooting okay. world. There are people I like a lot better than you, but you're, you're still a good guy, right? It's Mike Sieglander. He runs a company called Shooting Performance. Uh, I met Mike really on the shooting circuit, shooting professionally, I think at the Steel Challenge. Uh, he's a farms instructor. He's a retired Marine. I'll leave out all the... Former Marine, not retired. For, oh, former, wait, what's the difference? Well, former means I got out. I'm a quitter, technically, but I was in the Marine Corps, so once a Marine, always a Marine. And to be more specific, we met on the circuit, and we used to bet on the circuit a little bit. We bet a lot. Now, not that I need any more lunches, but I, I remember a couple things specifically. At a steel challenge one year, uh, I don't remember how many lunches it got up to. We have a few No, it was dinners, and I think it was probably <laughs> close to 50. It was really, really bad. So the reason it got out of hand is... Mike would challenge me to something. I remember one in specific. We were, we we're at the end of the day practicing at the Steel Challenge. I think the stage was roundabout, and we yeah. were just doing one-shot draws. Yeah. So Mike is just pushing and pushing and pushing as fast as he can, and he hits one, and it's like, and it was fast. I think it was in the 70s. Oh, it's it was awesome. It was smoking fast, I mean, and especially for a production rig. <laughs> and, he, and he hit the target, and he's like, there, do that. And it was like, and this is a no way. This is this is something that he should not be able to do. He should not be able to just do what he did. And, and he said, double or nothing on the dinners, which at this point were in the dozens. Yeah, so like I'm never 15. gonna get paid off. Not that I need it, of course. <laughs> and, and 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 I go up there and give it one try, and it's basically a Hail Mary, hold my beer and watch this, and I just shoot when I never see the sights or anything, boom and hit it. Yeah. And it's like two hundreds faster than yeah. his. Double or nothing, like forty dinners he owes me now. I think I paid one of the dinners. He let me off a few of the other ones. I, I did not, pay one I dinner one you, time. I don't, I don't know about that. I mean, hey, uh, note to self for all of you humble shooters and instructors out there: if you're going to challenge someone to very expensive dinners, maybe don't challenge him. Because <laughs> 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 he's really good and he's kind of lucky sometimes. Actually, he's really yeah, lucky. And he's kind of good. There's a lot of luck in that. The more I practice, the luckier I get. We're starting to do a bunch of blogs on Springfield's website, and uh, to do it, I mean, there are areas that, I, that I'm an expert on and areas that I'm not. Mike, with his history, uh, especially in the combative arts and uh, the use of firearms from self-defense, uh, we're bringing Mike in as one of our experts. I want a panel of experts that, that they kind of have a standalone, uh, uh, what do you call it, the, the resume, yep. uh, that, that establishes them as an expert in the area, and Mike is definitely one of those people. He's got several shows. I'm sure you've seen him on Best Defense. Um, great show, Wednesday night, Outdoor yep, Channel. There you go. Please watch it, and you'll, you'll, you'll find a lot of great information there. And on top of that, Mike's a great guy. Not only is he a great shot, he's a great guy, and, and I'm kind of hard to impress from people and personality, uh, and freaking, I love this guy. Hopefully, now that we've established Mike as part of our little core group of people, at some point here soon, I'm going to get a story out of him that we can turn into a blog that you guys can all go see. Next week, you'll have a next week. See, this worked perfectly. Hey, for the record, <laughs> I want to make sure, though, <laughs> did you just, on camera, on the interweb that will never disappear, establish me as an expert? Can you say that one more time? Not just that I'm your friend, you love me, but I, I am... I believe, to the best of my understanding, what an expert might be, that you are indeed one of those. Expert. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. All I right. just want to establish that. Yeah.